Well, today um, we got a little bit of work done. Uh, if you notice this pile of dirt here, um, our hole in the front of the house has gotten a little bigger. And you can kind of see what we've got going on here. We've got this small section of the um, concrete block wall that has failed pushed right in there my guess would be water freezing and just pushed the blocks aren't filled so it just kind of pushed them right in this corner here is pretty well supported um, so I'm not really too worried about the house falling or anything like that but um, there's something definitely we need to get taken care of so it's going to rain Saturday, I guess, so my plans are to work on our entryway door, which will be closed in, I mean, under cover uh, at that point. So we'll get that fixed Saturday, and then Sunday I'm going to remove some of these blocks and stack some more block, uh, probably on this corner down here, and jack things up a little bit, and set the house back down on some blocks that are fairly level and flat and then I'll start down there and start breaking out some of these blocks and start fixing in the middle and work back towards this end and then we'll finish digging towards the other end and finish that up. The other thing that we've got done, um, I haven't even looked here yet to see what Devin's got done today but I know he was in there working. Um, Skylight system is still in there, and we'll have to go around because I can't make it past all of that. But Devin started today putting up the temporary wall. This is just to hold the um, the roof section here. We're going to build one on the other side of this makeshift beam, and this is coming out of here. And a new LVL is going to go in to support the second floor. So let's take a look, see what Devin's got done. He did get quite a bit done. So up here we've taken this ceiling down. Again, it was lowered all the way down to the bottom of these 2x4 studs that are hanging down. We've got the sheetrock out of here. Opened up this closet where all the plumbing and water and stuff was, was at one point. This will all be part of the master uh, suite and bathroom at some point. So things are coming along good there. And I've been working on the back end of the house, working on the ice and water shield. We'll take a little trip up the ladder. Oh, so this is my project Sunday, or Saturday. I think it's Saturday it's gonna rain. I'll be able to work on fixing this door up. I was thinking about buying a new door, but I think I'll hold off and just pull this one that's coming out anyways and temporarily stick it in that hole so the doors don't get damaged up um, while we're uh, renovating. So it won't. this door here is coming out and an interior door is coming in. Uh, this wall, this will be framed in at this uh, 6x6 location. All of these walls and screen will be framed in. And I could easily do all this stuff Saturday while it's raining. Take that door out, frame these walls in, and fix this hole in the floor. And stick that door in that hole. And um, so when it comes time to uh, secure the building, we can secure it a little better. So here is what I've been working on. It's a little hard. Um, it looks kind of messed up at the moment, but I'm working on this valley and getting this flashed. Um, that small triangle up on top of the roof is just tacked there. There's the uh, membrane that's still on it. It's just I haven't pulled it down. We've got ice and water shield in the valley. We've got metal in the valley and then additional water, ice and water shield overlapped on top of the metal. So if we do get any water in here, um, it's not coming through this crack. 
I hate to even tell you how the other one was uh, flashed. They had a four inch strip of ice and water shield or look probably like a window sealant right down the middle. And then a small four inch piece of metal on top of that and tar paper and it leaked. Needless to say, it's not going to leak on me, at least for the next few years. Um, I have no intentions of fixing sheetrock. So we've got ice and water shield down this side. We're just going to reuse what's down there. It's in good shape. And by the time we put the uh, synthetic membrane over the top of this and uh, shingles, we got good quality uh, architectural shingles going on here. It should hold for water for a long time. Same things going on on the other side. Um, the bees didn't survive last night. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but we had some poor weather and they didn't make it. Something happened. Let's see if I can get up here. Devin's adjusted the ladder a little bit, so... This last step's a little doozy for me, so I'm just going to set you down for a minute as I get up. I don't like heights. I think I'll go around this way because I really think Devin's changed the angle and pitch on that um, ladder. In a way that I feel a little better. So here's the ice and water shield and the valley metal on top of it. Do the same thing here, another diagonal piece of ice and water shield over the top of that and we'll run some out to finish this out here. So it's coming together. This is what we've got done since Father's Day and um, or the last time I did that video. I can't remember what day it was, but we're making progress.